I have never cooked sushi before. And I don't really know what I'm doing exactly, but I've watched a lot of videos and it doesn't look too hard. All right, so I'm thinking that we can do this. I'm thinking sushi, it's a light meal. Can't be that bad for you. I think it's a good option. I don't know exactly what I'm doing with fish, but what every video said was that the most important thing to do is to get good fish. If you get good fish, then you're fine. You're set, you know what you're doing. Uh, so we're going to the fish market I usually go to. It's called uh, Fish King. It's here in Glendale. It's a good joint. Um, I've gone to sashimi there before. Never actually tried to make sushi. I feel like it's it's one of those things that looks really easy, but it's really easy to mess up at the same time. Um, so I'll try my best. I hope I hope it's edible. <laughs> I kind of want to waste fish, poor little fishies. Fish King. I guess there's not a lot of spots that you can just get food, good quality food that's prepared for you right on the spot. So I really like this place. Yeah, I think we'll stick with the classic. I think I'm gonna do a half a pound of the ahi and what, half a pound of the salmon. You can't go wrong, dude. Yeah, yeah the, two, the two great ones. I'm kinda nervous. I'm sweating already. I feel beads of sweat dripping down me. I feel like this is going to be a lot harder than I thought, to be honest. But that's going to be really easy. It's going to be straightforward, but uh, I'm intimidated by the fish. That's crazy. Oh my god, they're so big. That's crazy, thank you. Dude, that is absolutely nuts. It's wildlife, man. Is nature at its finest right here. You know that like they love to be pet, right? Can I pet it? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't mind? Yeah. Thank you. See that? Oh, he does like it. it. Yeah. Aww. I'm gonna have one as a pet one day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Now to the, uh, the Asian market. One of my favorite plates is called HK. I've been going this since I was a kid. Uh, I first found out about ramen there. Or like good... Well, not good. Or I just found out like about not cup of noodles. Like I found out about the... The more authentic Japanese ones. Here it is. Oh, did they change the name? I haven't been here in a while, but it used to be Hong Kong Market. It's my joint. So I get all my Asian stuff. I get my mochi here, my nori. This is what I got. This is no longer an Asian market. I'm so sad. What did they do to my spot? Tortillas? <laughs> Pita bread? Uh, okay, let's leave. And it's not an Asian market anymore. So I'm kind of uh, upset. I really was hoping that, uh, what we need to get is a sushi roller. Obviously Asian market would be the place to go, but uh, the one closed down for some reason. I actually don't know why, it was a sick ass market. We're gonna go to a uh, world market which is a super like Americanized store that tries to like capitalize on ethnicity. Whatever, we're going to World Market and uh, it says online that they have a sushi roller, so we're going to do a sushi roller from there. Um, what should I get for the lady? What do you think? It's almost a boat. All right, so what if I get this? And I glue a stick with a flag on it. That's like a boat, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so it's a long day and we're finally ready to cook. So I got my fish. Got my seaweed, I got my rice, we're ready to go. But now that I'm sitting in front of this, it's way more intimidating than initially expected. We're gonna do some nigiri. That's nigiri rice and just and fish, right? That's rice and fish, am I wrong? Can someone Google this? Yeah. We're gonna do a, a, a nigiri piece here with the hamachi. Hamachi, of course, yellowtail, one of my favorites here. Make it look a lot easier in the movies. Oh God, I just cut so much off. I was trying to cut really close. Oh no, hold on. Using a knife is a lot harder than a GameCube controller. But that's a nice cut. That that's that's a clean cut. That's like the that double shining. Look at this piece. That is a clean piece. I'm I'm okay with that one. That one looks good. Let me, let me see this. I could be a sushi chef. I think I could do it. This seems fun. Oh, that's so good. Melee doesn't go well. I'll just. I'm gonna try to do my my nigiri roll here. I don't know exactly how to do this, so uh. 
I'm squeezing the rice between my hand. There you go, dude. Bam! Eight dollars at a restaurant, right there. My piece of nigiri. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. All right. Uh, oh, dude, no, the rice is so bad. This is the worst rice of all time. No, okay, I don't know what I did. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fix this. I think my rice just sucks. All right. So the hardest part so far has been the sushi rice. I think I'm cutting it fine, but this is really bad. I'll try it out just for, for the meme. Pretty good. The taste is there, the texture is not. All right, so now that I've gotten my hands on trying to make a bit of sushi, uh, I promised somebody I would make a sushi boat. So here's my boat. I'm gonna keep adding to this boat. I guess next I can try making a hand roll. I love hand rolls every time I go to a restaurant and get a hand roll. All right, this is kind of like what a hand roll looks like. Oh, there we go. Can I just fill it up? I feel like I, I could, I very well could. Someone requested that I make spicy tuna roll. I'm not gonna even bother looking at the directions. I'm just gonna assume it's sriracha, tuna. I've heard people use mayo in theirs. So I'm not gonna, I'm not a fan of mayo, so I'm not gonna use mayo. Uh, and I actually, someone told me that sesame oil is in it too, and I brought it a little bit, so I'll try that out. All right. This doesn't look like the spicy tuna I have. It's not too bad, honestly. Very good. A little soy sauce. I think this will kind of even out the, the strongness of the sriracha. But not much rice left. Look, I don't know how to traditionally do the hand roll, so I'm just gonna do what I think is right. I'm gonna put down the, uh, the spice, spicy. Put my avocado. I'm just gonna lay it down. Oh, hold up. Okay, Mike. It's like a paper airplane. That looks pretty damn good. Just gotta push it down a little bit. We got ourselves a hand rolls, boys. Dude, this actually looks, watch, watch this. I'm gonna watch this shit. I'm gonna cut it and make it look even better. Oh no, I just ruined it. Uh-oh. How did I do this? Well, it's not too bad, actually. It looks pretty good. This looks fine. I'm okay with this. If I got this at a restaurant, I'd pay a decent six bucks. It's fine. There's a lot of meat in here. All right, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna put this in the boat. Oh, it's looking pretty good. I have an idea though. So I'm Latina, right? We have tostadas. Every household has to have tostadas. And I got some spicy tuna left. I'm gonna try this out. I feel like this will actually be pretty good. Someone needs to do this. Mexican sushi? Fire. Alright, let's see if this is good. It's really good. If you had some lime on this, it'd be fire. Every ship, every ship needs a captain. Easter's coming up. Every ship needs a captain. We got a boy right here. Mr. Choco Ears. Mr. Choco Bun Bun. All right, we're gonna let this sit. In the oven. And of course, this video is brought to you by Intervance. Intervance is a program that lets you meet up with a healthcare professional to help you figure out parts of your life that you can improve on to be healthier. So for me, a big part is my eating habits. So that's why today we're trying to eat sushi. I'm working with them closely one-on-one -on -one to help me lose weight, to help me fix my eating habits. Uh, it's helped me make better decisions at events. Intervance is dope, check them out. They've helped me lose a ton of weight already. Uh, hopefully we keep pushing for that. All right, so now that we've let our sushi rest for a few minutes in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and take it out and, oh boy. Woo, smells good. Oh, and look at that. Wow, that looks amazing. Wow, after a few minutes of sitting in the oven, this sushi has gone, I'd say from a solid eight on presentation to, I'd say this has to be a 10. This looks fantastic. And really, that's the cool thing about cooking, you know? You're gonna make something from scratch, start it from the bottom up, and it looks and hopefully tastes great. I am so good. Mm.